Whoa! Hey guys, today I have the pleasure of unveiling a feature that will change the way that you present and understand your data in PowerPoint. It's the ability to create hierarchical tables right inside of your slides. So before we dive into storytelling, let me just use a couple of words to describe our source that we'll be using as a base for our scenario analysis. So what we have done is we've used Excel to connect to our Power BI model that holds our financial data. Now that we have a pivot table in Excel, we can use this data as a base for our scenario analysis and we've created this table here to create all the necessary calculations. This now ensures that we have a single point of truth, which is our Power BI model. And we will use the table I mentioned before, so this one with the calculations, as a source for our visualization of our scenario analysis. To understand this innovation of hierarchical tables a little bit better, we first have to learn about Zebra BI tables. You can see here that Zebra BI tables offer a comprehensive look at our financials and this is because they allow us to visualize our financial data and also use the international business communication standards as guidelines. This standardization and of course visualization allows that all parties in your meeting, whether they're coming from a financial background or department or from other departments, will understand clearly the story behind your data. So with Zebra BI, it's not just about presenting the numbers of your profit and loss statement. It's about clarity, understanding, and actionable insights. This is what makes Zebra BI the industry standard in visualizing your financial data. And we achieve this by allowing you to create complex visualizations like a waterfall chart without the need of coding or formulas. We also give you the ability to create automatically calculated variances that are also added directly to your visualization. And, of course, we improve your storytelling by allowing you to add comments and making your visualizations and presentations understandable to a wider audience. Now let's go to slide number two, where you're gonna see why hierarchical tables will be a must for your next scenario analysis presentation on your next strategy meeting. And I'll also show you a little bit of dynamics that Zebra BI can give you to make your presentations even better. Our financial analysis will help us understand how potential future events can impact our financial outcomes. In scenario analysis, we usually look at multiple scenarios that deal with changes of key metrics and understanding how they impact our financial well-being and our performance. Scenario analysis is a crucial tool that you can use to make informed decisions and also manage your risks, all the while creating strategies that will withstand the moving economic conditions. And this is how you should present it at your next strategy meeting. You can see that even while in presenter mode, I can open up the hierarchies and show even more details and even comments. This means that this is a seamless and interactive presentation like never before seen in PowerPoint. And if you like what you heard, don't forget to like the video. So you can see that I can interact with the visualization in real time. This means that I can follow the story first from our revenues, then to our costs and all the way down, making this one of the clearest presentations of data and also one of the coolest you probably ever seen. Now think about it. Do you still feel the need to write extensive notes that are hard to read about what the numbers are actually showing now that you can interact with the visualization and letting the data speak for itself? And while our visualizations already provide you with a lot of context by providing you the automatically generated and formatted variances, adding the comments takes your storytelling to the new level. Remember, it's not about the number, it's about the story behind the number. And with comment markers helping you guide your viewers' eyes to the correct account or to the correct data point, you are keeping your users engaged and clearly understanding what the story behind the data really is. 
So just imagine the amount of insights that we get by having our comments at the lowest granularity of our data. This not only gives us a comprehensive look and the story behind this data point, but can also give us the story behind the higher categories and better understanding of what's going on there. So just like here in our scenario analysis, where we use the comments to describe the assumptions that we have taken to derive to our presented results. So as I've explained, it's pretty easy to understand the why behind every number just by using Zebra BI. And now that I'm presenting to you our operating expenses, let me just tell you that I've noticed that there's quite a big variance uh, on our plan number three for our RDNA costs. Now, does anybody know what's what's going oh, on here? Sorry, yeah, um, actually oh. I, I, I do. I'm, I'm really sorry. In oh. plan number three, our yeah, RDNA look, costs no are supposed um, to represent 70% of our I'll just add it in now, our, okay? Revenues. Yeah, okay, I'll just, I'll just add it in. And you said 17%? Yes, 70%. All right, perfect. Did you just add the comment perfect. like right now? Yeah, I just added it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah that's I, pretty No, don't worry cool. about I'm sorry. it. It happens. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. Thanks. And just like that, we have our complete story. And there is no longer a need to send the new updated presentation to everybody after the meeting because you were able to change everything on the fly and all the changes have been saved and all the context has been added right in the middle of your meeting, ensuring that everybody really got a complete understanding of exactly what's going on. So I think it's fair to say that the new updated Zebra BI tables will definitely help you present your data in a better, cleaner, more understandable way. But if nothing else, it's gonna make your next data-driven presentations refreshingly cool for everybody involved. So thank you guys for watching. I hope, no, I know that this new update will bring some cool new features to your next data-driven presentation. You can find the link to the visualizations in the description below. Also, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and of course, go check out more of our awesome content so you will be able to be great.